Hello everyone, welcome to Slurred Words Plays FTL. Oh. Okay, this is just a test game. Let me, uh, testing the audio here. Let's go back to the hangar here. Yes, I don't mind losing that. Okay. Anyways, so, we are going to be playing some FTL. We're going to be starting a fresh campaign. We're going to be playing on hard mode. A fresh playthrough, even, we'll say that, because campaign, I guess, would be one play, like, just one go around on this game. And that's the really cool part about this, about this game is that it's got a lot of replayability. We're also going to be starting with uh, Data Whites. I, it's one of my favorite games, so let's get into it. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You need supplies for the journey, so make sure you explore each sector before moving to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Anyways, let's see here. Let's get our ship fully uh, powered up. And let's head here, and then we can head to this nebula where uh, nebulas will make the fleet pursue slower, but will obstruct the sensors, which I don't mind for the added time. Anyways, uh, one thing I need to address, well, after I read this. You notice a flurry of lasers fire glance by your port window. Mantis are upon you. Alright. Let's see if this I'm not too worried about it. But anyways, let's, uh, okay. One more moment. Let's get everyone on. Um, no, okay. Actually, Ares, you can stay here. I want you two to get here. Now let's open up all the doors. Except for these. See if we can guide the mantis into the uh, medical bay. Anyways, I want to address some stuff about my channel as well in this video. Um, sorry about the lack of content lately. The uh, rumors of my demise have been greatly just exaggerated. I ran into some issues with my audio, as you can probably see from the last uh, few episodes of Doom and from uh, XCOM. The Doom 2016 series has been finished up, which is nice. Let's just put that over for a second. Now, I do want to play some Doom Eternal, but that probably won't be until I get these audio issues fixed that were happening in those videos. And that's why I actually haven't been making videos lately, at least partly. There's also been some other factors like exams and school that get really got are now officially back and making videos. Now, I don't know when Doom uh, Eternal or when the XCOM series will be back up and running. I gotta figure out what's going on with that audio issue. It's, it's gotta do something either with my capture card or with how much uh, processing power is being used by it on my Mac, which... <laughs> I'm recording on a Mac. What do you expect? Anyways, easy win. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Nice. Um, we're gonna be playing on. Uh, oh, also we got a uh, webcam, which is really nice at least. Probably won't be seeing too much more of that until like the gaming, official gaming PC. So we are, those series are, the Eternal series and um, XCOM coming back eventually. I just gotta figure out what's going on with it. My punch is that my editor is on my track disc. I think I remember seeing a notification about that getting a little bit full on my computer. So I'm hoping that's the issue. Actually here, let's send you to make sense not doing anything. Dude, okay. Can you like not? Okay, I'm going to Um. They are 
copy some of their goods if you don't destroy the ship. Uh -huh. The fuel would be nice. But we already got a decent amount of fuel, so I'm not too concerned. I mean, you see, these are rebel these are the rebels that we're facing through our first Star Wars story, except we're the good guys. But we can get we can let them get away with that. Aced it? <laughs> Go, 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 go! Oh, <laughs> we would have been screwed if the, if the shield room ran off oxygen, let's just say that. Um, let's get everyone else healed up too. But yeah, that's basically explaining why it has many videos lately. Exams, uh, and recording issues. Which has been a shame because I've been wanting to play for more diversity. Video games have been wanting to record more, but this really has put a, a hole on that. Hopefully we can get that figured out soon now though that I'm out of uh, college. Also, um, <laughs> ignore the uh, uniform. I'm right now recording at my uh, workplace as a security officer. And that was the other thing that was going away too. Was uh, I work at multiple locations, or at least I was covering multiple locations, and the other location really... Oh, that was... Of useful scrap material. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, the job I was working was as a gate attendant at a local Menards. If you find two heavily damaged ships floating nearby, the remains of a battle. You begin to harvest some of the usual debris when you hear the sound of someone beaming aboard, followed by shouts of a boarding party. That's what we do at all. Well, you guys get here. Let's, uh. Oh! Okay. So it's four. I was working at a independent at a Menards, like people in and out of the You know, if you think in a pandemic, there wouldn't be people you know, shopping and stuff. But with everyone being home and having nothing to do and also getting stimulus checks, what more than it being a perfect time? get those outdoor projects done. And there were like lineups around the park. I just wanted to cut at this couple uh outfit. Oh my god. They uh let's get everyone to position. Actually uh let's not get everyone to position because Hold up to the uh, gate, and I did, they load them. I was trying to see their ticket so I can get them in, and they loaded the window and said, Please back away six feet. And I'm like, I don't understand. Just, you know, you're, you don't want to catch coronavirus, and that's totally understandable. Um, they didn't have a proper ticket though, so I couldn't let them in, and they 
they literally um, tried, they, they threatened to block the entrance, which I told them there's a second entrance, in which case I was guided on cars to go there until they left, and then they said they would block both entrances, which is very mature, you know, from our wise elderly. It's hard to say why, but this beacon apparently is a tourist destination. One of the ships is at a small station off to deal. Three missiles for three drone parts. We don't really have drones right now, but we're not really using that many missiles either, so I'm gonna go for it in case we go for like some uh, kind of a like drone build or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, so they, you know, let's jump. So where, where do we want to go? I'm thinking if we jump up here, we can see what ships are around here. Also, we made really good time. This, there'd be a lot further ahead if we didn't go through the nebula. But, say we go here, see what all these other sections are, and we can keep jumping around. We stumble across a forest scout from Rebel Fleet. That's Okay, pause. Shields up. I should really have gotten that done at the tourist destination, now I'm thinking about it. Oh, that's okay. It's a little scary with that drone out there. Let's get the Artemis on the uh, cockpit so we can stop their FTL from charging it from getting away. That's scary. Damn it! You bad. That's okay. At least we can stop them from getting away and telling the people about our position. But, um, yeah, they threatened to uh, um, block the entrances, which of course I said, uh, this, uh, and they said they would block both entrances, this is, okay, actually, this is troublesome. You know, for the scout, you're very offensive. Hey, TK, this guy, by the way. This ship, oh my god, we're not looking too good. <laughs> oh my god, our hull. I'll finish the story in a second. Let me just, uh... Get you here. God! Dude. I need to stop the ship from getting away. breaks apart and, and you're relieved to know that you're still one step ahead of the police. That's, I guess, pretty cool. Okay. Anyways, while they're repairing everything, let's, uh, finish the story. Yep. Instead, they would block both entrances and, uh, you know, being just all incredibly rude. And I s didn't say anything afterwards because after they said they would block both, as I said, I was something through other guests at the first entrance, the, um, I just decided that I would guide all guests through the out entrance, and actually let's get everyone healed up real quick. That's basically the kind of stuff I've been dealing with for the, uh, you know, the last couple weeks until I finally got back at my security position at, you know, my desk job, which I like a lot, because I can do stuff like this. Well, <laughs> But yeah, if there's any lesson from that story is please be nice to our workers. They were <laughs> I remember too there was like this uh I heard a story from a Menards worker there that uh Well I live in Ohio and our governor Mike DeWine who for the most part thought was uh handling the COVID outbreak pretty well did say that maybe uh force people to wear masks was a step too far on their rights, which I disagree with, but led to uh, <laughs> a bunch of customers coming inside and go um, to Menard to complain that they, um, that we require them to still wear a mask for, you know, our, our, you know, our worker's safety. <laughs> and I'm saying, oh, well, Mike DeWine said this and not realizing that 
you know, Fistus have the right to refuse service. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease is spreading, is spread fervently. They are selling a quarantine contained arrive, but a riot is now broken. Okay. Let's send the crew down there because I'm not too worried about it. The crew tries to keep the crowd in line, but the scene quickly turns ugly. Half crazed with fear, the infected grab mining tools and push back at your crew, forcing you, them to retreat hastily. They barely get away without injury, but the can't, same can be said for the colony's leaders. Well, you know what? That might be hitting a little too close to home right now. <laughs> oh. because we had to deal with the influx of, you know, people coming to Menards during the pandemic, and, oh god, I'm trying to do that with college, it was, it's a lot, it's been a rough couple of weeks, let's just say that, there are two ships within range, and they seem to be engaged in battle, one of them has some markings of a space pirate, let's aid civilian ship, power up the weapons and engage the pirate ship, okay, I'm actually not too worried, the, this is an easier ship, the scout and Whatever else we face in those nebulas, those were probably the hardest we're going to see in this sector. Just some time stuff that leads from hitting. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now we can do any damage. Post. Basically, someone also got, you know, got coronavirus and they kind of worse. So that's why I was also covering. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, so, uh, if you like the series, you know, of course, leave a comment and a like. It would be greatly appreciated, especially if you made it this far into my ramblings. Upon your completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings, you're welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'd like to continue on your way. Okay, they do got a missile launcher, which is a little scary, but we got one too, so I'm not... Dude, we're the Federation. We're not being pushed around by pirates. No matter how low our hole is. Too bad. You'll regret this decision. I'm sure I won't, for the most part. Who knows, though? We are playing on hard difficulty. I want to take down the, uh... That missile launcher right, right away. Oh, they missed with the rocket launcher. Oh, they missed real. <laughs> you really bested us. We, we merely request our lives. We don't need any fuel. Those missiles, maybe, but you kind of attacked us, man. So, no, don't, don't deactivate. Don't, just save the missiles. Have one hit in. He clearly bested us. Uh, you know what? Just not take the damage. I think it's okay. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap and material. Alright. Let's uh, go here and see what's. I guess the most I can speak to explore. Like, if there's a shop, for example, around here. Your jump leads you to nothing but empty space. The jump beacon serves no purpose other as a connection. Fair enough. By the way, beautiful game. I love this background. Like, it's empty. It's just... Oh, man. This this game is a great game. Okay, so... I think... Let's see here. I gotta measure up here. So, if we go here, it's gonna go, like, to here. If we go here, it's gonna go to here. I think we got time for the both jumps. If we go, like, here, here, and then here. So let's do that. It's gonna be cutting it close though. You receive a hail from a station orbiting a nearby planet. Captain, we are Federation Terraforming Team C12 and we need assistance. Federation? Oh, sure. Do you have some time? Sure. Thank you. We need to scan this planet for life before we can begin terraforming, but since can't get the necessary power to scan through the atmosphere. 
We've got scheduled keep ancients who can help uh, the contempt. It seems your senses are no more powerful than terraformers. Yep, that's what Kill thought. Let's just try to speak and see what's going on here. Once you arrive to the location a, of a distress call, a civilian ship hails you. Thank you for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we cannot plot a course for the nearest depot to get fixed. Could you lead us there? Yes, we'll lead you there. Take a bit of scrap as down payment. We'll jump to the signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out. Here. I think no problem. Let's get to the exit. You arrive to the long range beacon. FTL traps charge and jump things. Okay. The sensor you have picked up. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing the rebels. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it's trying to avoid notice. Yeah, let's hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies, they could they need to trade. It's a lot of fuel, and I probably won't need to buy like any more for the rest of the game. But I also need missiles. But if they're running low on supplies. I don't know. I mean, we got a mission to keep. I, I'm gonna play the decline. Oh, that's good. We're going to two hostile sectors, no matter what. Let's go into, uh... Let's go into pirate. Sector. We can get a lot more scrap. And stuff. If the reports are true, this area has been under control of pirates for some time now. The, some traders still attempt to trade within few settlements that remain. Hey, speaking of which, you go to the You receive a wide band automated message. Welcome to our humble trade depot and shipyard. All are welcome, but try and find business, and our 152 automated turret satellite will tear your ship to shreds. Pretty, pretty cool, bro. Not cool. Adds additional information about nearby beacons. That might not be the worst idea. Explosive replicator would also be great. We also get some hull repair. And it's always smart just to get your shields upgraded like right away. Which means we're probably not gonna be able to buy anything since maybe we're long range supplies. You could also heal the ship, which would be the worst idea. But I think we're gonna be fine on taking damage from the first one. Get back in the yellow. Let's go to this quest. I don't have that nebula. Ship you're escorting. Oh, nice. Okay. Perfect. I don't think we can make it out there. Oh, where's? Oh, okay. Now, that... now this shop's got some cannons. It's got some really powerful armaments. Like, Black's really good. Pike is really good. Tire beats fine. If you really want to make a run around that. We have no models. So here to us. You arrive. Uh, what? You arrive to have a small fleet of engine ships target you without with message. Pirate assaults negative social impact. Not permitted. You're sure them of your honest intentions and allow you to pass. Scary world out here. With them dangle pirates. Dangle space pirates. The pirate ship arrives shortly after you, judging from the fact that it attempts to board your ship. You assume it's smaller to try and stay away from the people. Yeah, I mean, it's pirate. It's piratey pirate world out there, and we're in a pirate sector, so I'm gonna attack the pirates. And they do got a burst laser, and by that, the burst laser mark two. Uh, oh, not too late. Oh, oh. I'm a little worried about the bomb, but not too worried. Appears to be a firebomb, though. Uh, the oxygenation, the oxygenation room, which is very sensible, obviously. Not too worried about it, though. Uh, you know, 
not getting hurt. Fire's out. I'm gonna have you guys go up to here. bits and pieces you find, you decide that the ship was gathering information. Nothing seemed useful. <laughs> oh. oh well. They were pirates. It's a pirate, pirate world, etc, etc. Anyways, um... Yeah, you know, and COVID's been happening, of course. And staying inside, social distancing. Now that, uh, it seems to have at least flattened a curve in the U.S., you know, it's still very early. So, and also, I'm not a scientist, I've only been reviewing what other credible sources have been saying on the matter. We are not, st anyways, no, not the point. Anyways, I've been social distancing by break man. I work alone here, which has been nice. I haven't caught any, I haven't caught coronavirus myself, at least. If I have, I've been asymptomatic. There appears to be a number of small stations nearby. Before you have time to scan them, warnings go off. Rebel teleporter was used on the station. You've been boarded. Not much for it. You know, I've been keeping, you know, dude, I'm gonna try and do my part the best I can. Let's see. It's hard to say why Beacon's tourist destination wants small ships off to the new deal. That is actually a deal I'll take. I do need some more fuel eventually, but I'm not too worried about it right now. There's a shop down here which I could get to, but I'm not going to be able to. Let's get to the distress beacon and see what's going on. You find a source of the distress call. A small research station appears to have a small laboratory fired, got out of control, and threatened to destroy the station. The fire suppression system is now responding. Uh, knowing how this usually plays out, I'm going to not send my crew in because they will die. I'm gonna dock try to check these fibers. I thought I'd get one. You locate the highest concentration of life forms and bring the ship alongside the station. Before you begin before you can begin to offload these fibers, huge blast splits the station apart. The ship your ship is thrown away and some debris uh appears to your hull. You watch helplessly as the last of your spot those fibers are consumed in the collapse station. Sad. Big sad. What's up to get a uh, crew member out there? But yeah, you know, really only interacting with people on the rarest of occasions. For the most part staying in by myself. Time to see message. Help. Hello. Hope it's not a bother, but I'm looking for an escort to a nearby system. This region is quite dangerous, and our ship is not well armed. It's a Federation bomber, dude. Of course. Uh, oh, yeah. Federation, look out for Federation, right? Real recognize is real. Great. Take this bit of fuel as down payment. That's pretty good. We'll be one step behind you. Uh, we don't want to take any risk of fuel. Oh, right there. Okay, here's the thing. We got so much time. You know, that's where it's kind of dangerous. I'm gonna go here, here, and then we can, like, maybe judge here and then here. Azure Field's gonna be a little dangerous, but not here, worry about it. It's gonna be 
be dangerous for it. This guy too. The pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately was attacking. Uh, also, this is an realistic asteroid field. Uh, that's good. Uh, asteroid fields are a lot more spread from the asteroid to the asteroid. Just to gain, etc., etc. Being too much of a stick up my butt, etc. Et Let's turn. Kind of basically flew that Federation bomber into a <laughs> into an asteroid field. Oh well. Shortly after arriving, the ship you were escorting jumps in nearby. Thank you for your help. His reward appreciated. Oh yeah, I think we got time for this. The beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out there or die. Pirates apparently boost his dangerous son moves into the moves into engage. Speaking a little Knowing they have other obligations, let's go. But maybe that's something we can do. We can play some, uh, record some videos, play some Warzone together. You arrive at a long range beacon with FTL. When your FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. This area shows signs of battle some time ago. There are scattered remains of a ship. One station appears to be attacked. But who can examine the station? Upon a closer inspection, it appears to be a large portion of its full destroy. You take what few supplies you can find. Yeah. Oh well, that's okay. A2 scrap leaving is pretty good. Um Sure, let's go to the Mantis home. Just because going into rebel control territory just seems like a smart thing. Although we do gotta consider it, it's a nebulous sector. We go here, then we can go here. I just don't like nebulous sex that much. The slug ones are pretty cool, but the nebulous sections themselves, they don't really slug down the impediment, and then you still get the sensor loss. And I guess we can always still choose, but it's like, 
Miss, you know what's going to be a more interesting video. You arrive at a poorly charted area of space that is known to be home of the Mantis. Ensure your whole plane is up to scratch and you have enough fuel in your tank to make it through. Alright. So we can go up here maybe, or we can go like here, and then follow that same path. Uh, let's see if we do that, because I just want to see what's up in this sector. I want to see what is up in this sector. A derelict and still smoking mantis vessel closely by. A battle has been recent. It's it's crowded crew. Beam aboard. Prepare for a fight. Mantis are very aggressive species. They can do more damage than any other species, and they also like teleporting a lot because of that. So understandable. So I'm still getting time because I gotta. I should have recorded the time, not for the future. Okay, 36 minutes, okay, okay. So we'll, we'll get through this sector and we'll call it uh, on this episode. Let's send our crew back. And let's go to the store. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I was looking for. And then finding a mantis trade post ahead. You signal them so that you approach and won't be taken as a threat. The leader hails you. You have scrap? Quickly. Come dock before the warriors see you. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we can get a some drone control. Get a defense drone. Come with that for free. For free. That's pretty good. Backup battery, which isn't the worst either. The thing is, we got the drone. We had to sell our long range gear so we just bought it. Basically means we just lost 15 scrap, but I actually think that might be the way to go. We do need some more power. And we also, you know, while we're here, let's just uh, fix up our ship a little bit. You come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying, Greetings, our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? Um, <laughs> yeah, let's offer to solve the problem by launching a missile. Well, we appreciate, well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. We have certain protocols for the use of the explosives around the workplace. Launching a military grade weapon into our mine is accepted, what I call union friendly. Fair enough. Let's do it, because we need to get some... We, we need some scrap here. Or hull! That also works. I was hoping for the scrap, but I'll take the hull over here. It's basically scrap, you know. Instead of had to use our scrap to repair our ship, we just, uh... Got repaired. At this point, you almost expect to fight with the Mantis. But this beacon appears to be entirely devoid of other ships. You take the time to catch your breath and double check the ship systems. What do you mean at this point? We haven't seen a Mantis ship yet. Do we go up here? Or we go down here? I think we go down here just because there's a little bit more variety to explore. We can also come back up here later. A rebel captain appears on screen. I thought we had been doomed to backwater silence. This is my chance to get back in commander's good grace. Charge the weapons on us. Okay. Let's fire the burst laser on here. Oh, I, we are in the third sector. I forgot. Okay. Just down for a second. We need to pierce these shields. <laughs> Oh, nice, I missed. Hell yeah. The Iron Pulse is gonna knock down both ships. Both ours, apparently. So At least it didn't lock, knock down our weapons like it did theirs. I don't think we're gonna need any more missiles, though. I'm a little scared about the heavy laser. Let's do that one. Let's kiss. 
Uh, okay. Let's, let's air it out. And by really air it out, I mean have the air out. The energy ship appears to be following, powering up the FTL, trying to escape. Uh, <laughs> here. Now. To quote Master Chief, that's not going to happen. Wow, they really did a number on the flames. Please don't kill us. We'll give you everything you have for surrender. We do need more missiles. So I'm gonna accept their offer. Also, And some more powerful weapons. But we don't have enough scrap for hanging out really right now. We need some more feel bad. When they see the Mantis warship waiting in ambush at your intended coordinates, your crew is relieved to note you jumped somewhere off the mark. Yeah. We're still gonna fight you though, cause we need the uh We need scrap. We're gonna fire your missiles at the rocket. <laughs> fire your missiles at the rocket. We're gonna fire missiles at the shield system. Hey hey. Oh, I think I'm worried about that. <laughs> Your arm is off now, save it. Well, that was close. Well. Annoying, and possibly we should still take care of it to get their other weapons going. But it shouldn't be too much of a hassle, I think. Also, that was a really good voice crack. I am recording this, I got away way out of it. 406, no 506 in the morning. I'm doing like a third shift, so I am a little tired. I Is that why I think I'm cool? I got fucked up. God, I can't believe this is a BOB later. You know what? I'm not embarrassed. It's an alright song. I don't miss a lot of BOB, but. The rapper, Bob. Can you like not? Thank you. He's prepared. Nice. Actually, I want you to get back on a weapon so this will charge faster. Hit, hit, hit. Nice. Doing it. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap and material. Let's go. There's a store, but we don't really have any scrap. I. We got some fuel now, too. We can go like here, 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 maybe here. We'll see what happens. Don't be a feel. Press beacon, please. You locate a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread permanently. They are setting up quarantine, but uh, setting up quarantine to contain, but the ride's broken out. Let's try again. Again, I'm not too worried about losing crew members. Your crew tries to, yeah, yeah. Let's cool. Also, let's get everyone back into our position. Also, I just feel so. Make sure you guys. Oh, are you? I didn't even realize that's how the door went. My bad. Okay, anyways. Mantis military scout seems to have just finished scouting. Uh, finished a salvage off on your fire rack. You have no time to waste. Warnings and a few tools. Okay. Also, I should have really gone that. That right away. I'm gonna get this here. I'm gonna open up every door except for this. Let's go right here. You gotta look professional. I can come to my workplace in case someone comes in. Which is a bonus for a virus. 
Oh, also, I did not activate this. Oh my god. Just give me this, please. Okay. No more messes there. We can't take it. Alright. Oh, this is going off. That's good. I should have realized that, maybe. Also running up auction soon if you don't repair this stuff. Let's get the first laser going right now. They've also ran out missiles, so I don't think they can actually hurt us at this point anymore. So my, unless we want to speed things up, and probably isn't really worth using the uh, like even targeted weapon system, weapon systems, but also not using the Artemis missile. Um, I need to heal you guys up. We can have to get the engines off too, because that doesn't matter either. In this case, at least it should. Sorry about all the moving around. I can really get a gaming PC. Uh, it's on the list too, by the way. I was gonna close that up. You guys healed up? Go. What? I wiped all, all the life? There are no more life signs remaining on a ship. We strip pay of useful materials. Okay with that. That's used, they usually do that to us, oh, Samantha's people. Not the other way around, but that, I'm cool with that. Oh no. We're not gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna make it. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. Oh, we're, we're good. Fine. We're, they made it. We're all, we're all okay. Real quick, I'm just gonna buy this so we can do this. Once they're healed, we'll turn on the engines and set everyone back to the position. And we'll go to the stress beacon. Alright. Okay, well, actually, wait. Let's see here. I gotta plan this out. We go here, 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 we go here. It's gonna be epic. This is what's going on. This is the only one. The exit beacon is done. You arrive at the stress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with a power marking partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Um. We tried to slodge the ship by shooting the rocks or we destroyed the ship. Um. Which ship is pirates? Um. You know, they were only just like mining. You don't need to be that callous. Even though it really doesn't matter in you know video game sense. You take a few careful shots, but you expose a mineral patch in a rock that reacts violently with your own weapon. A shockwave forces you you back as the breeze pulls your hull. When you gain control, you find out much of the ship. Well, it got destroyed anyways. Let's get that repaired. Yikes. Possibly. I messed up a little bit. That's okay. Especially not knowing what that distress, you know, that stress beacon was. Maybe not necessary. We'll go this way. Whatever. It's okay. We know why the mantis. Oh, wait. Who knows why? We don't know why. Who knows why the mantis would venture so close to the sun? Perhaps to make it more of a challenge? Perhaps. Oh, brother. Okay. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Sucks to suck, ain't it? Also, I should have closed this door sooner again, but save the missile. And everyone get back to position. 
This shit has never been oxygenated. It's been always hypoxic. Hypoxic? Hypoxic. Not hypoxic. It's not from for uh, natural. I'm really tired. I'm just leaning my head on my hand. It feels nice. You arrive at a long range beacon. When the FTL tries, you can jump to the next sector. You arrive in a system to see, to see a pirate ship pursuing a civilian ship. You detect a message from the civilian ship on a dis distress. Oh, yeah. We're gonna help. Whatever. I don't need to finish that. I already know what's going on. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. Alright. You already know what's going on. We're gonna be uh, activating our defense drone because they have a missile launcher. Actually, I haven't, really, I haven't made that really clear yet, so maybe you didn't know that, but the uh, Defense Mark 1 drone will basically shoot down any missiles, uh, so that's what kind of works. Missiles suck. They can penetrate through shields, and that's very annoying. Okay. Also, that's also very annoying. The man is not even shoot us. That's a very fast missile. Oh, you bastards! Stop it. You stop that. Like that, exactly. Uh, don't even do this. And everyone, go back to the positions. Let's get a burst laser on the shield next. Not too worried about the missile. That one, man. The pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. Apparently, the ship that was being salted was uh, a silence vessel. They take what? Apparently, the ship that was being assaulted was a science vessel. I forget that silence. I really need to go to bed. <laughs> they thank you for saving them and offer you a small award. Thank you very much. Um, and yeah, I think that's where we're gonna call it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, comment, like, and subscribe, especially on the first episodes of these series. That really does help. Um, tune in tomorrow at the same time for another FTL episode. And stay tuned for eventually the return of Doom Eternal and uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown. See ya.